Hi there and welcome. In today's tutorial video, we are going to be learning how to create slanted walls using Revit. I'm sure you must have seen some designs that are made with slanted walls and you are like, this is so cool. How do you do something like this? And you are wondering if Revit probably has a way to do something like that. Well, yes, Revit has a way to do something like that. And I'm going to be showing you how to do that in two different steps. The first one is a little bit... Uh, difficult but the second one is way easy so i'm just trying to save the best for last if you are new to this our channel welcome my name is grant and in this channel we dish out interesting architecture related content so before further ado please kindly hit the like button share this video subscribe to our channel and please turn on the notification bell icon so that you don't miss out on any video when next we publish and it also helps to encourage us to keep doing what we do before further ado Let's jump right into the video. So this is our Revit interface. Now for us to create a slanted wall using Revit, let's say I want to create a, I want to make this wall slanted. So I'm going to come on that to the 3D. Now you can see the wall. This is the wall that I want to make slant. So I'm going to delete this first of all. Now you can see that there is nothing here anymore. Good. Now, so what we need to do is first, we need to come over to our massing and sites. Once we are on our massing and sites, we click on in place mass. We click on in place mass. You can name it whatever you want to name it. Let's say slanted wall. Slanted wall. Okay. Then you click on line. You make sure you come to this view and you can set your work plane. You pick this wall to set the work plane. So let's say you want to make this 1.5 meter and we adjust this to this point. Okay. That's for here. Now you can see what we have created at this point. Then we also do the same thing for this other corner of the wall. So we come to this point, we click on line, we set a new plane to this wall now. Then we also do the same thing, we trace this out down to this point. Now once you come to the 3D view properly, now you can see you have created both uh, lines. Now what you need to do next is to select both of these lines click on control hold control and select the other one to select multiple items then you can click on create form once you click on create form now you can see it gives you like uh it links the those lines up together and gives you like a form so that's all for that you just click on finish and you have uh a masked form already so the next thing to do is to come back to our machine and site you click on wall and you pick the face you want to create now you can see once you click on this wall it's it works it functions as a wall you can see the name here 225 mm sancrete block white wall good then the next thing you need to do is to edit this wall to make them lap because as you can notice here there is an opening around this corner which we do not want that so you need to come to this view properly then you double click on this wall to edit you click on this your pick line you pick this point then you use your trim trim this to this then delete this particular one so that is all for this part of the wall Then you move over to the next part of the wall and you do the same thing you double click on the wall to edit it click on your pick line you pick this angular wall or slanted wall and you trim this to read you delete this one because we don't need it anymore you click on finish now this is what we have left now you can see this is how to create slanted walls using a uh, massing and sighting although massing and sites is a totally different course on its own uh, and I'm going to make in a video on that separately is going is a very large course It's going to be very detailed but this is just to create slanted wall using mass and side. Then the other one is way, 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 way easier. So now let's see that. Now for us to do create a slanted wall using the other method, all we just need to do is to come to our natural ground level. We click on, let's say, uh, let's, let me just copy this to this point. Let's, let's do it again. Let me copy this to this point. Then we delete this one because we don't really need that anymore now you can see the previous one we did now let's delete this wall on this point 
and we also delete the massing we just created and let's take this back to the way they were okay delete let's take this back to the way they were edit and you delete it you trim and delete okay good now we have we have it the way it was initially so what we need to do is to create a normal wall at this point you click on your wall you hit cs on your system that's for create similar on your keyboard then you draw that wall to this point good now let's say so we have something like this and we also want to make this wall a slanted wall let's come to our 3d now you can see how it is it is a straight wall all you just need to do is to come under to the cross section on your property bar you click on the cross section you change it to slanted and you give it an angle let's say 30 degrees enter and you see how it is slanted if you want it to come out the other way you say minus 30 enter and this is it voila <laughs> you have it there so and this automatically helps you adjust the this wall you don't have to start editing to follow the angle and all well, however you move it 15 it automatically adjusts with um with it so you can see how cool this is so you now your, all those are uh, interesting crazy designs which you have been thinking of doing but don't know how to do because of you don't know how to create um slanted walls using revit and there you have it thank you guys for watching if you find this video interesting or helpful, please kindly hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to like this video, share, and turn on the notification bell icon so that you don't miss out on any interesting video when next we publish. See you guys on the next video. Bye.